One hour, three candidates, and a lot of questions. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. Gubernatorial candidates took to the debate stage tonight ahead of the primary election. Two on your side's Liz Lewin has the details. Liz? Good evening, Scott and Mary Alice. Well, tonight's one hour debate was the first, as you just mentioned, of two debates. Governor Kathy Hochul and her Democratic rivals. Public advocate Jumani Williams and Congressman Tom Suozzi addressed a variety of topics tonight, everything from gun control and concerns about the rise in violence here to the Bills Stadium, COVID-19, homelessness, marijuana, and even health care. With June 28th primary only three weeks away, the race is on here in New York State. Governor Kathy Hochul currently sits at the favorite leading in the polls, but given rising concerns that many New Yorkers have right now about crime and gun violence, as well as tax dollars being spent in support of that new stadium in Orchard Park, Hochul still has a fight ahead of her to win the office. Last week, Suozzi and Williams shared the limelight in a two man debate, seemingly uniting on joint stances against the governor. But tonight, the governor played defense while her opponents went on the offense. The governor talks about making crime and guns a priority, but 69% of New Yorkers say that she's failing on crime. She talks about crime, but she didn't address the issue of bail reform. No governor has done more in less time than I have to address gun violence. We have to change the hearts and minds of people all over this country so we can finally have common sense legislation from Washington. Okay. Ten years ago, I wrote my first report on how to deal with gun violence while the governor was touting her A rating for the NRA. I wish we had her support so in between that decade of death, we might have gotten where we are today. Yeah, just one of the many topics. Just a reminder that yesterday, Governor Hochul signed a landmark legislative package that immediately strengthens the state's gun laws and closes loopholes in an effort to keep New Yorkers safe and to try and prevent future mass shootings from happening here. This was also interesting. If you happen to miss it tonight, the candidates answered heavy hitting questions from for 54 of those 60 minutes of the debate. But the rest of the time, the moderators chose to close things out with a rapid fire question and answer segment called in one word, the candidates were asked about their pet peeves, their karaoke song of choice, whether or not they believe in ghosts. And I can tell you, not one of them answered in one word. In the Information Center, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.